Okay, Marita, we've just come out of the Apple shop and we uh, uploaded the video on Blog 6 and we also had you listen to that video on Blog 6 yes. about the children being raped and stuff. So how do you feel about what you saw and heard? I am very so disgusted and very upset that this government is allowing such cruelty to young, young children uh, uh, all over the world. Now I am I myself am a grandmother. I will I will kill anybody who would touch my grandchildren ever like that, touching them in the wrong places and that there. I'd cut their fingers off and, and throw them to my dogs and that there. People like that should never ever be allowed in my country. Uh, people like that should never ever associate with any 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 foreign leaders and and given the authority to do what they can do to my people in my country. <laughs> you know, it's so sad to know that these parents and that as doing the wrong thing, commit, committing a crime to their own children. How dare they for selling their children to make profit, to, to please themselves and these children have got to put up with so much uh, cruelty, abuse against them because of these mans want to want to touch children they're getting women doctors to sew them up maybe doc maybe men doctors as well that is what you call very low in the eyes of god and they bring in christianity here well i thought god god sent jesus to be the prince of peace i thought god sent he, god sent his son to, to show that uh, to show other people that we are supposed to be pure and innocent why don't they start listening properly to the rightful truth you touch our children I think I think the law should be used to cut their private parts off cut their fingers off teach them a lesson not to ever do that to any children ever again now I've been a single mother all my life. I've also been a single parent all my life. Struggled, but I've all, I looked after my children to make sure that no one, no one like big monsters had touched my child. I've never ever allowed anyone to even go near my children, but the fact is Stolen Generation has done it all in the welfare care for, with, with um, our people from generation to generations and it's still happening here today. You see, our elderly are so, are, are so much in pain because of what had happened to them in the past. What about our children of today? Last year, I had my, grand, my grandniece, my brother's grandchild, had her pelvic hips broken. How? You tell me when she was in the welfare care of some, of some foster parent and the excuse was, I'm sorry that happened. I just changed her nappy. That was wrong because I know for a fact, I'm a grandmother, I changed nappies and that then you can't break a pelvic bone and that they, unless you rip their legs apart. It's not nice. When you're seeing how the young children and especially teenagers coming and they're crying and they're putting their heads on the, your shoulders, uh, you know, pleading for someone just to give them a hug because what had happened to them in their, in their lives because of nobody wants to stand up for them. It's so wrong because we allowed the perpetrators to get away with everything and yet we are here still struggling and fighting for where is justice? Well, what is the truth? Come on, tell me. Are we living here today to find, trying to fight for the truth and that there? We'll stop from touching our children. We wouldn't be like the sea standing up and, and, and fighting for their rights. Because we as mothers, we have a heart. And the government should never ever take that responsibility away from us because we're not incompetent. We've been mothers long before 200 years or 800 years down the track before anybody come along because we looked after our children and we nurtured them. We protected them. We loved them because of why they was a part of our bodies. And not, not, not for anything, for any, any um, monsters to come along and take away their innocence from them. 
the shame and the sad, how shame you can be doing this here to all us people and that, and, 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 and just to wear a mask on your face every day to think it's okay, because it's not okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Well done.